Welcome to the Dataverse Data Viewer video. In this video, we will take you through one of the most powerful features of Dataverse. With the Data Viewer, you can quickly and easily inspect your data at any point in your data flow, as well as trace fields, sort and filter your data, reorder columns, and export your data. The Data Viewer provides you with the ability to inspect your data at any stage in your data flow, from input through all the various transformations leading to the final export or publishing of your data. As you place and connect nodes, you will execute them and can inspect the output in order to confirm that they are working as expected. To access the Data Viewer, all you have to do is click on the output pin or the record count on the output pin of a node to show the process records in the Data Viewer normally collapse to the bottom of the screen, it will then expand. For each output pin that you inspect, a new tab is created in the data viewer, showing the first thousand records of the data set. The data viewer can be resized by dragging the top edge of the data viewer. Clicking once on the top edge will collapse or expand the window. To help you to organize and work with your data in the data viewer, row numbers are displayed to the left hand side within the data tabs. In the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you will see a count of how many records are displayed against the total that exists in the entire data set. Rows are alternatively striped to make it easier for you to view, identify and analyze your records. You can select and copy horizontally or vertically touching cells, or entire rows or columns from the data viewer by pressing Ctrl C and then paste the selected data into an external editor such as Microsoft Excel or Notepad by pressing Ctrl V. Dataverse also has shortcuts available within the Data Viewer. Here is a list of the navigation shortcuts. And here is a list of the selection shortcuts. Fields can be reordered in the Data Viewer to make it easier to inspect the data within a field. Fields can be dragged and dropped, or you can choose one of the following options from the column menu. Move to the beginning to move the field to the furthest left-hand side. Move to the end to move the field to the furthest right-hand side. Move left to move the field one position to the left, or move right to move the field one position to the right. The ordering of the fields will be remembered for as long as the tab is open for this data set. However, if you close the tab and then reopen the data set again, the fields ordering will be reset back to the original order. To help you interrogate the data as it passes through your data flow, the data viewer provides the ability to filter your records. Navigate to the field you would like to filter and choose filter from the field menu. The filtering options available depend on the data type of the field. For example, the following options are available for a number data type, a string data type, and a date data type. Let's say I only want to view any records where the units field equals to 10. I will type in 10 in the second box and press done. We can now see that the records have been filtered to only show any records where the units field equals to 10. Once you have applied a filter, the column menu icon changes to a filter symbol to indicate that this column is being filtered. You can apply filters to multiple columns. The filters take effect over the entire data set, not just the first 1000 records which are displayed. Where you have applied filters to the data set, the information in the bottom bar indicates the number of records that are present in the data viewer before and after filtering. For a filtered column, you can choose the following options from the column menu. Edit filter to edit the filter on this column, remove filter to remove the filter on this column, or remove all filters to remove the filters across all columns. If you would like to continue working with just the filtered records, you can easily output these records into a transform node. In the top right hand corner of the data viewer, select add filters to data flow. A transform node will appear on the canvas with your filtered records. Now I am going to remove my filter. You can sort the data within a column to help you quickly organize and find the data that you want. Choose sort from the column menu to apply a sort. The sort options available depend on the type of data in the selected column. For string data sets, you can sort by A to Z or Z to A. 
For date data types, time data types, and date time data types, you can sort by oldest to newest or newest to oldest. And for number data sets, you can sort by smallest to largest or largest to smallest. When a column is sorted, an arrow on a blue background indicating the direction of the sort is shown below the column menu. You can click the sort arrow to reverse the sort order. You will notice that each row in the data viewer is alternatively striped. When you sort a column of data in the data viewer, the row shading changes in line with each value change. This enables you to easily spot changes in your data. If you would like to continue working with the data permanently sorted, you can easily output these records into a sort node. In the top right hand corner of the data viewer, select Add Sorting to Data Flow. A sort node will appear on your canvas with the sorted records. The trace field function highlights the path of a selected field in your data flow. Navigate to the field you would like to trace, select trace fields from the drop down menu, and wherever the field exists on the data flow, the path will be highlighted in purple. To remove the trace field, select the blank option from the trace field section in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can export data from the data viewer to a CSV file, which can then be opened by Excel or a number of other applications. The entire data set will be exported, not just the first 1000 records shown in the data viewer. Any filters or column reordering will be included in the export. In the top right hand corner of the screen, choose Export to CSV. Your CSV file will be generated automatically by your browser. Depending on your browser settings, you may be prompted to choose a location to save your file to. Otherwise, the file will be created in your downloads folder. Lastly, when a node is rerun or its status is cleared, all open data viewer tabs containing data related to that node are closed. This ensures that outdated data is not displayed in the data viewer. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to download a copy of Dataverse, join our online community or watch more videos like this one, please follow the links below.